Okay, welcome back. This is our new program, our new host, Art Abarit on My Politics. As a mayor, you're always looking for innovations and programs that are co not costly and implementable and doable. And this particular project, the BRT, what's the advantage between the BRT and the LRT, Mayor Tom? I'll try to give you some examples na makasabot ang ordinaryo nga tao. Ang BRT is a bus. Okay? It runs on the road. It's got tires. Okay? Rubber tires. And LRT is a train. Mm -hmm. It's elevated and it runs on rails. Okay? And LRT will cost 150 billion pesos, which they claim at no cost to the, to government. the government. What they do not answer, at what cost to the people? Are these people doing it for free? Are they running it for free? Huh? Will you invest 150 billion pesos and you will not get your money back? Hmm? Is that what they're trying to make you believe? No cost, libre. You know? The only time I think things are free is when you die and you go to heaven, God loves you, you get everything <laughs> is free. You know? But here on earth, that's the way the world turns. You know? so they're really trying to fool you. you know? Now, if something costs less, then I think you can charge less. If something costs 10 times more, you think it would be cheaper? Hmm? You really think so? Now, anyway, here's one application. Let's say there's a power failure in Cebu, and you are riding the LRT. You're there on the elevated LRT, and it stops there. How do you get down? You know what you're going to do? You're going to text Mayor Osmeña, Mayor, palihog padaog ladder para makanaog yun me. Unya, there are 300,000 of you. Lisod yun ko, ah, sa kumangita ang ladder. So, so, Mayor, just call Aerop to pay the ticket so we can, we can climb down and go home. That's a real problem. Maybe it might not happen, but if it happens, it's a disaster. Okay? Another example is, uh, you ask Mr. Dino this. Do you know how to fix a, an LRT? Abe, demonstrate. Hmm? Suppose the LRT is broken. Who's going to fix it? Akong pangutana sa mga tao, is there anyone in the whole island of Cebu who knows how to fix a LRT? It's a train. Next question. Do you know how to fix a bus? Hmm? I think any barangay in Cebu can fix a bus, uh, even overhaul the engine. LRT, can you overhaul the engine? Huh? These are things, you know. Now, what we need is something that we can maintain. In Manila, uh, after losing $6 billion a year, many of the trains are not even running, mm. and they have to hire foreign companies to, to, to manage to this. Yeah. Here, I can tell you, if a bus breaks down, Little problema. Do you know how to change the tires? You know how to change oil? Huh? You know how to change the water pump? Bisan asa tingale. People can do that, no? That's a bus. The same as Kaohsiun bus, only it's longer, but it's the same diesel engine. Okay? Another, another question. Let's just say, God forbid, you're the LRT, and then there's an earthquake, okay? And so, one of the rails out of that 60 kilometers or 30 kilometers of rail, six inches gets cut. The whole system will not run. Hmm? Because loop nisha. Okay? Oh, let's give you another example. Let's say one, uh, there's an earthquake or something or typhoon and one of those Veco poles Bitao, falls down over hmm. the rail. Blocking now, the railway. You have, you have the LRT. Can you drive around that? Now, if you have a bus, can you drive around that? <laughs> huh? Yes, you can drive around that. Not only that, you can send the bus to the airport. Mm. Huh? So if the port is coming, Mayor, we need more transportation. Can you send buses to the airport? Sure. Mayor, there's fiesta in the now. They're asking for extra transportation. Mm -hmm. Can we borrow some extra trains and use it to bring uh, our people to the now? Yes, the Pope is coming, sliding there in the Pantalan. Can we send buses there? Yes, you try that with an LRT. It's not advisable. You know? 
You see, we want a system that we can manage. But most of all, we want a system that is reliable. You know? And efficient. And efficient. Now, what I'd, like to, what I'd like to see is that we have to get something running as soon as possible. It will take 10 years. I said, I told media it will take six years. Pernia said it will take 10 years to get something like this going, just to do the feasibility study. I said, no, that's done already. Huh? You, why don't you test? Why don't you test Mr. D? Ask him. We don't even know where the train will run. It's a <laughs> feasibility study. Huh? Now, let him answer where the train will run. And then you ask him, okay, what's your traffic plan? How will you divert the profit? Humana? They don't even know where it is. And problem of you, they're not transparent, mm -hmm. no? And then, okay, in Cebu City, it will be a tunnel. Okay, so where will you put the filling material? Hmm? Where will you dig a hole to put the tunnel? Huh? Are you going to block the road or are you not going to block the road? Huh? You know, he, has, uh, he should be able to provide answers to all of that. We already said, I will not stop the LRT, but we will not. But his idea is to block the BRT while they're still trying to figure out what to do with the LRT. And I said, no. That's not acceptable. Yes, yeah, because they have their target year, you know, uh, by 2022 something. They have to uh, implement already the. Uh, uh, the uh, LRT uh, no, the, the problem is that the BRT is already delayed two years and the traffic is going to get worse and worse and the other thing also is we're already penalties so how much is the cost uh, a penalty uh, for the I government for the uh, delay know. of commitment, two years commitment fee huh? I don't know I saw two three million a month or something like that oh wow it's great hmm. Yeah, yes, Mayor, you are trying to initiate a system that focus more on meeting the transportation needs of uh, the people rather than those using private automobiles, okay? And you want to effect a modal, a modal uh, shift from automobile travels to bus travel, and you try to avoid uh, large-scale and expensive projects. Is this the reason also why you favor this less costly uh, BRT project? in the city that's my way of putting it is like this no i'm thinking about the student huh, that has to meet classes i get texas i'm the only mayor that puts my cell phone <laughs> <laughs> they cannot go to class no that's his future mm. no because this student cannot use the car of michael dino he cannot take them to school no and then many workers cannot go to work on time. So they still have to clock in, you know. They, get, they, they don't get to work on time. They don't get paid also, you know? So this is, this, is a, this is a real hardship. It is true that the private cars should be confined to the outside. So if you are riding a uh, BRT and you look out your window, you see all the cars there. But traffic you not on the side. But where you are, you are king. Because the next bus is 400, 500 meters ahead of you and there's nothing in that road. So you can go to work huh, from Bulacao to Ayala, little over 15 minutes. Hmm? So, so what will we do? See, if you look out the window, you see Michael Dino there shouting, you know, from his <laughs> private car. Huh? Well... Is the unsay atong remedio? You know, you tell Mr. D, no, palihog lang. You can ride the bus also. No one is stopping you. Mm -hmm. No, in America, the rich, the poor, the young, the old, they all ride the bus. In Curitiba, the rich, the poor, everybody rides the bus. Hmm? Exactly. But yes. you know, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I want to ride my car. Okay, you ride your car. Maybe salam sa gabi. You can mm -hmm. go use your car without any traffic. No, but in the meantime, this is the important element. Ang akong problema is that we are changing national policy. Because national policy today makes public 
vehicles, second class citizens. That's the truth. That's why makita ka mga karatola, no PUJ here, no PUJ there. Wag ka makita o sign nga no private car here, no private car. Private car is king. Uh, PUJ is second class. What we are doing now, uh, na bale, the public vehicle is now the king and the private vehicle is now the second class citizen. You stay on the side because everybody has to go to work. Uh, so that's, that's the basic ins issue here. Yes, Mayor. I've seen the, the operations of Transmilenio in Bogota and the Bus Rapido in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mm. And if this uh, BRT will be rightfully implemented in the city, maka minimize kay ni og dagan sa toan traffic Yes, of course, of course, absolutely. Uh, the, the, there is a there is an inconvenience. One. You cannot stop the bus in the middle of the road. You have to walk to the waiting shed. Yeah. Now, the waiting shed is 400 meters apart. So, the maximum distance is 200 meters to the next waiting shed. But when the bus stops in the waiting shed, it's easy to go in and out. And the bus does not stop all the time. This is what's happening now. Huh? The jeepneys have to stop anywhere. They pick up anywhere. And that's what creates the traffic. Yes, Mayor Tam, as uh, reported in the papers recently that you are not against the ARP. And no. uh, this uh, project is being imposed by the Metro Cebu Development Coordinating Board. And you stood back on your decision to exclude Cebu City from membership of the Mega Cebu. Why? Because it doesn't exist. How can you call Metro Cebu without Cebu City? As far as I'm concerned, they're impersonating. Mm -hmm. A public office. So this guy uh, who is the president? Yeah. He's declaring himself, I'm chairman of Metro Cebu. Uy, buang ka diha. Chairman Giyod. Who voted for you? Mm -hmm. huh? So, no. We are Cebu City. Actually, I can't anticipate this problem. That's why when I applied for the BRT, I did not include Talisay and I did not include Mandawe. Just Cebu City. But that's okay, because when you have the BRT later on, when people realize they want it, you can connect. It's very easy to connect. Huh? Easier than connecting a train, because it's just getting the road. No? Yes, we'll be discussing more about uh, the BRT with Mayor Osmania as uh, one of uh, the uh, guys who pushed this uh, project to be implemented in the city of Cebu after these commercials. Don't go away.